right, guys. So we're getting out of the car right now at Red Lobster, and we are going to check out their cedar board lunches. You guys ready? Let's do it. I'm going with Charles, and it is another fish hook episode. Okay, we got the, the infamous fish tank, and I just feel bad for these guys. But only for a minute, then after that, the boiling water takes over. Just kidding. <laughs> what did we find out? We came here because... Well, we came here because my buddy Jack Stop checked it. the Be internet, nice. Be nice. and he said it's all over the internet. Uh, Red Lobster's got a special. So we come here to find out it is a special. It's what they want to it's feature a that scam. week. That's what it is. Yeah, there's no special pricing. It's just, hey, this week we're highlighting same thing their rival Cracker Barrel does. Uh, so we're gonna enjoy ourselves and we're gonna order some cool seafood dish. Cool. I mean, I, I'm sorry. All right, there are two places I did not want to take Charles. One is Red Lobster because he. It's like going to Olive Garden for real Italian food. You're not getting it. Okay, so, and ironically, it's owned by the same company. <laughs> um, the other thing is, the other place is Captain D's. Uh, it would it would take a lot to get him to stoop down. So for Charles to go to Captain D's, you guys, we're talking, uh, you can be guaranteed hell froze over. I guarantee it. If he goes to Captain D's, they got to have a special promotion wonderful worldwide thing going on at Captain D's for him to step foot in there. So we are here nice and early. We go there out Red. of desperation. Yeah, we're here at Red Lobster and we're gonna try and find the best stuff possible on the menu. Okay, so the main reason we're at Red Lobster is the cedar plank seafood dishes. And they have the, we see they have uh, three of them. They have one that's steak and shrimp, they have one that's salmon and shrimp, and they have one that's lobster and shrimp with some sausages, which are going. So we're gonna try those too. We subbed out the uh, french fries for asparagus for an upcharge and we get dinner sauce with them. No, All right, no, we just got served and everything looks good. You got a little bit of sausage, not the big pieces that you saw in the picture, which is okay. And then you got the, the tails, lobster tails, and then you got your shrimp. We did the asparagus, got the butter. It looks beautiful. All right, so first we're gonna get you to try what's on this plate. And then I'm gonna have you try what's on this plate. All right. So All right, let's see. So you'll we, go first. We I got a side of asparagus, broccoli, nice and steamed, and it's fresh. Salmon and shrimp and some mashed potatoes. Now they gave me two different um, dipping things. This is a verblanc. It's an orange. I don't know what other ingredients are in there. And then they got my favorite, the butter, <laughs> melted butter. It's my favorite. So I'm gonna try their uh, salmon and see just. These are their featured items. Right. All right, go ahead. Now I'm gonna ask the waitress first. What's recommended on the, this? This is a it's a verb blank. This orange verb blanc. Orange verb blanc. What is that recommended on? For what? the salmon. Oh, for the salmon. Okay, awesome. good. Awesome. This will be. Check it out. We're doing Beautiful. a review. That's why. Okay. I want to check this out. I've never had this before. You wouldn't think that orange goes good with the salmon, but that has a nice taste to it. Oh, I bet it goes amazing with Yeah, the yeah, this is a new one on me. I've yeah. never had an orange flavor on salmon before, never. That is good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Very good. And, you know what? This Ooh, one's butter. good. Oh, no. <laughs> that's there only, it is. And butter, that's only going in butter, baby. Oh, yeah. Lean forward, don't get it on yourself. Now, as we do in my family, tail and all. Oh my goodness, ouch. People are choking all over the internet. <clears throat> Dunked in butter. Plump and delicious. Tail and all. Oh yeah. Do the butter and the lobster. Can I ask you a question real quick? Yes. Can you taste any cedar board? Or not? I haven't yet, no. Okay, so you're not tasting the cedar flavor. Okay, so I'm just wondering, I'm, not that I'm saying it's a gimmick or anything, but you should be able, it's cooked on cedar board. It's supposed to have some flavors come out from the cedar. I haven't tasted any. A lot of people like the cedar flavor. So I just want to know what you what you thought. I Nothing that distinguishable that I can say. The salmon should have had it more than the shrimp. Yeah, because it's all flesh down. 
Correct. Okay, so, so what it's charred there? and everything, too. You would think. Yeah, they would, did but, cook it. I don't believe they lied. Yeah, this is a cedar plank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we are going to try a going piece for the of good stuff, food. dude. Look at you. Yeah, I want to rip a piece of this out. Let me cut this. Absolutely. There we go. Got to be in the butter. Oh, oh you're right. You're going mm -hmm. butter, yes. Oh, only butter. Only butter. And then some of you may dip in clarified butter. A lot of people like clarified butter for their lobster. I don't know if they provide it here. Who doesn't love lobster? Okay, okay. so Charles is going crazy over this orange dipping sauce. So I've got to try the orange with the salmon. Have you guys ever had orange with salmon? That's what I want to know. Let us know on Facebook, Instagram, anywhere. Just email us. Whoop. Come on, seriously? Seriously? My stuff's all dunked in there, drowning. Hold on. Nice. Here we go. That is really good. Yeah, that's really good. All right. Here we go. Ready? Watch, I'm going to drown my shrimp. Ready? Butter, 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 butter. There you go. In my family, we don't eat the tail. Mm. I can taste the cedar on the shrimp. Mm-hmm. Mm. Real good. You like the Jaws theme? You like the Jaws theme? Da, 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 da. Oh man, that's their lobster right there. Ah, oh, how can you go wrong? Well, we just finished lunch at Red Lobster. It was as I expected. I haven't eaten here in a while, but the salmon was different with the orange verblanc at first time i ever had that it was a good combination the salmon was cooked well i've had better but it was cooked well the shrimp was excellent nice and plump i didn't notice any real distinguishing uh marks because it was on the cedar but they were nice plump fresh shrimp they were great with the butter and there were small lobster tails but they were de very decent the asparagus was thin a little bit dried out it wasn't like I'm used to fresh and plump. Overall, it was nice. It's not my first choice for a uh, restaurant to go for lunch, but I went because my buddy wanted to come here. So. Oh, throw me under the bus. I nice. am. I am. You don't want your whole fat finger on there. I just, me, you don't want that? No, I don't, I don't want that. Okay, so let me explain Charles to you guys, because you're just getting to know him. Charles is a seafood snob. He, he knows where to go for clam chowder. He knows, like Moby Dickies, he knew that was a good place. Right off the water, getting fresh seafood. It was made properly. He's not a big fan of chain restaurants. So to get him to come here was an accomplishment. Now, now that that's been said, I must say the good part was that the cedar board, forget. Don't even, don't even worry about it. There was no flavor transferred to the fish. Um, we couldn't taste it. The uh, shrimp was good. The lobster was a nice surprise. It really, really tastes better than I thought, but it, it didn't look that good, but it was good. The asparagus was the disappointment. It looked old, it looked wilted. It just didn't look right. So that's where the downfall is on the asparagus. And what was her name, Wanda? Yes. I want to say hi to Wanda, our server. Send her some love. She'll take care of you. She took care of us. It was excellent service. Yes. She got us a drink to go, which those of you in California don't know what that's like, right? You know, drink to go when I moved here. I'm like, who does that? But anyway, we love you guys. Thanks for watching us on Fish Hook. We'll see you on the next episode.